What is SQL Server Reporting Services? Hello everyone, Garth Schulte here. Just want to take you on a quick micro nugget tour of SSRS. So what is SQL Server Reporting Services? Well, it's really just Microsoft's reporting solution tool that comes with SQL Server as an optional install. And it's part of this business intelligence suite of tools in SQL Server that we can use to work with data. In this case, report data and allow not only users to view reports, but allow them to create their own reports. So there's a lot of neat stuff in reporting services. Let's go over some of it. So from a technical standpoint, reporting services is really just a collection of tools and services that allow us to create and build and deploy and view and manage these reports. So traditional reporting systems, you would have to hire somebody, right? Or have somebody uh, internally that was skilled enough to build reports. So for instance, this guy right here, that's me and my business suit, by the way, would be a developer that is a report writer, right? I could write reports. So I would open up, uh, you know, my, my favorite report designer and build this really stinking complex report and give it to somebody to run and work with. And, and if they needed another one, they'd have to come to me again. Even if they needed a simple one, just a list of something with like three fields in it, they'd have to come to me to create it and waste all my day. So what's really cool about reporting services, one of the big things about it is users can actually build their own reports. And how do they do this? Well, you'd still need a developer in this case, or a DBA, or somebody that's skilled enough to create what are called report models, but they would create a report model, which is really just a very simplified version of the physical structure of a table, or a database, or a query, or you know, a bunch of tables or such, that, that would you know, create a slice of data. And you can put friendly names on it and all that stuff, and you would then deploy it to what's called the report manager. More on that in a second. So what would happen then is when they opened up their report designer, which is a very lightweight version of the developer and DBA's complex report designer that has a lot more bells and whistles to it, this is a very simplified version of the report designer. They can, they basically open it up, they have that model available to them, and they can just start dragging fields off the model and do simple things like sums and, you know, create pretty borders and titles and add flowers to the report, whatever they want to do. They can do neat stuff like that and then deploy it to the same place that we deploy our reports to. So what does this do for us? Well, it gives the user not only the ability to create their own reports, but it takes the burden off us developers and DBAs, and now we can focus on the complex stuff, and they can do their simple stuff all day long. So let's talk about each one of these components in reporting services. At the heart of everything, we have the report server. And the report server is where we deploy the reports to. And it's where the reports live, it's where the Windows service live, and it's where the web service lives. Yes, there's an actual web service that applications can tap into outside of your world through the internet to hit up the report server, which will then serve the reports back to the web service to the applications needing it. So that's, that's kind of neat that we can, get, uh, we can get at these reports from outside of our world, outside of the network. Uh, another big player here is the actual Windows service that sits in the report server that listens for requests. It has a, a built-in HTTP listener that can listen for requests across the network and serve them up uh, recordingly. So what's neat about that is in prior to SQL Server 2008, you always needed a web server, an IIS server handy and available because that's basically where report manager sat was inside of that and, and, and it was always a pain because now you had another layer of complexity. You had to you know, IIS was a dependency along with SQL Server. No more. It's all contained inside of inside of uh, those Windows services, which is really, really nice. Not only that, but the report server has its own physical database sitting inside of SQL Server where the reports are stored. So that's the report server. Report server, just an overloaded term. That means it's the database, the reporting server database. It's the web service, and it's the Windows service. Those are really the three major components that sit on the server side. That other major component that we were just talking about a little bit here is the report manager. And this is just a web interface. So it's really our web portal into everything reporting services. It's what users are going to use to run their reports. So they'll log into this web portal and based on the security, they'll see only the reports that they can see and run reports, uh, you know, run it and view it, do whatever they need to do, print the reports out. This is where DBAs and developers will be doing their management and, and applying security and deploying their reports to. And again, as I mentioned, this is also where users, power users and regular users, if we give them access to, will launch that report builder that they can then create their own reports. And speaking of that, they can actually create their own reports, save them onto the report server, and then maybe from another computer or another office somewhere, 
launch report builder again and access th that same report. Pull it right up, deploy it. So it gives us a nice centralized location for them to place their reports. They also have the option of saving it locally on their system. And if they do that, and if we do that down here, since we'll be managing these report files, probably in some source uh, controlled area, these are called RDL files. So reports when on the file system and not stored inside of the report server are simply RDL files. RDL stands for the re, uh, report definition language and it's really just tailored XML that describes a report. Usually when you build a report down here with SQL Server data tools you're going to create a data source, you're going to create data sets that are tied to the data source which just contain queries that pull back the results and then when we work with those results by creating tables and matrices and all that fun stuff to create reports. So in this CBT micro nugget, we took a look at what SSRS, SQL Server Reporting Services, is all about. I hope this has been informative for you and I thank you for viewing.